Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this Edge TX snippet, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Edge TX from 2.5 to 2.6. I know a lot of you are, that are keeping up with Edge TX might wonder why are we going backwards, why are we looking at 2.5 to 2.6, and the reason is because I've been asked by the edge team to put a video together to show people how to do it and what to expect. So we're going to cover a couple of different things today, but first thing I want to do is give you a little look at the radio so you can see what's going on on this radio. To start, I'll press the system button and navigate over to my information screen. And there you can see I've got edge 2.5.0. Everything I'm going to show you today is release version only. So 2.5 and 2.6. Okay. So that release versions only, this is in the nightly. This is not a custom build. This is straight off the website. Edge TX 2.5. The next thing we'll do is take a look at the SD card and I want to show you what's in the models folder and in the radio folder. That's really important to understand when we migrate from Edge TX 2.5 to Edge TX 2.6 because in that revision change, the developers converted us from the binary format for model storage to the YAML format for model storage. Another important thing about this, if you use Companion, is that you cannot use Companion 2.5 with Edge TX 2.6 because of that YAML conversion. Companion had to be updated to read the YAML files, and for that reason, if you use Companion and you migrate to 2.6 on your radio, you also have to install Companion 2.6 on your PC. If you're not sure what the whole YAML thing is about, I'll make it real simple. In the old way of storing model data on the radio, it was machine readable only. It was a machine readable format. The new format, YAML, is human readable, which means you can open your model files up and read the contents directly with a text editor or a code editor. Okay, so let's take a look at the models directory. And in this model directory, notice there are no YAML files. All I've got are binary files. Don't worry about the numbers. You'll really let the radio deal with the numbers. It's bad form to get in here and start messing with these numbers. It's You're much better off just let the radio deal with it. These numbers really aren't useful to us anyway in practical usage of the radio. It's much better just to let the radio deal with the numbers. Okay, so in my models folder, all I've got is model one, two, three, and five. That's it. We'll go back up to the root directory and the next folder I want to show you is the radio folder. In the radio folder, notice I've got two files only, models.txt and radio.bin. These two files are settings files, so models.txt holds my categories. And fortunately, there's a viewer, so I'll show you what it looks like. In the viewer, you can see I've got a Warbirds category and I've got two models. I've got a Model 1 and Model 2. In my Quads category, I've got Model 3. In my Models category, there's nothing. So I'll back out of this file and we'll, you can't look at the radio.bin file because that is not human readable and won't display. But I really want to just point out what you see before you do the conversion. You have models.txt and radio bin. Okay, now before we actually do the conversion, I have one caution for you, back your stuff up. It's very simple just to take a copy of your SD card and store it on your computer so that if anything goes wrong, you can easily regress and start over and figure out what's going on. So please, before you go any further, back your SD card up to your computer. In order to install Edge TX 2.6 the way I'm gonna do it in this video, you'll need to go to the Edge TX GitHub, link is in the description, and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you're looking for this file, Edge TX firmware version 2.6.0.zip. So when you click on that, that'll download it to your desktop, open that file up, and look for the one for your radio. In my case, I'm using a TX16S, so that's the file I'm going to use. Now, I rename mine, and I'll show you how I rename them in just a second, but I'm going to connect my radio to my PC by connecting the USB-C adapter to the top port of the radio, and I'm prompted for USB storage or joystick mode. I'm going to go ahead and click SD card, and that'll bring up a couple of extra windows on my PC. And the folder that I want to use is the firmware folder. So I'll click on that and you can see I've already got 2.6 in there, but I'll show you what I do anyway. So in the zip file folder, I'll grab the binary I want. In my case, it's a TX16S and I'll drag it into the firmware folder on my radio. And once that's done, let me clean out the old one. I'll get rid of that real quick. Just delete. And then I rename, I like to rename so I can see the version numbers. So I'll click on rename and we'll just get rid of these extra codes here and we'll type in V2.6.0, 
okay? That way when I'm flashing in the bootloader, I know what I've got and I can see it. Now these files that you put in this firmware folder will be visible to the EdgeTX bootloader when you're in bootloader mode and you go to flash a firmware. Okay, let's flash Edge 2.6. I like to do it via the bootloader method. It's just the way I prefer. And the way you do that is you press your T1 and T4 trims inward, and then you turn on the radio. And that puts it in bootloader mode. And the reason I like to use this mode the best is because it's really fast and it's basically fail safe. You're not relying on any external software like DFU mode or anything to write the firmware. It just works really well from the bootloader. So I'll click on write firmware. I'm gonna highlight 2.6. I'll press the jog dial one time and then I'll long press it and that'll start the right process. You see that status bar just kind of zooming across the screen. And when it gets to the end, we'll have 2.6 installed. When the radio first runs 2.6, it's going to convert your models files into YAML files. It's going to convert those bins to YAML files, but it doesn't take the binaries off your SD card. And that's been the source of confusion for some people because if you use Companion 2.5, it's utilizing those binary files. So the developers did it just so they didn't invoke the nuclear option and destroy your binary files, but 2.5 still reads those binary files, but your radio is using YAML files for 2.6. That causes a lot of confusion out there. So again, super important if you use Companion, make sure you upgrade from 2.5 to 2.6. Okay, we're flashed. I'm going to hit the return button to go back into the radio and we'll hit exit and we'll reboot and we should get a conversion prompt by the radio. Storage warning, SD card conversion required. This is where the conversion from binary format in your models to YAML occurs. So I'm just going to press the jog dial and let the radio do its thing. Notice there's conversions that happen real quick. Doesn't like my throttle state. Okay, there we go. We've converted now to 2.6. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the info screen and you can see I've got 2.6 there. The next thing I want to show you is some global functions. Now I had these set up on 2.5, but the proof is that they're still here, right? We've converted to 2.6 and my radio global functions are still there. So that means our radio settings file has also successfully been converted. The next thing we'll do is look at our model options. So I'll hit select model and notice I've got my Warbirds category with Corsair and Mustang, and I've got my quads category with my little Nazgul. The next thing we'll do is take a look at the SD card itself, because I want you to see what's changed. We'll go into the SD card and we'll scroll down to models. And notice now that I've got model one bin and model one YAML. See, that's the thing. We've converted this binary file to YAML. Now, the radio is using these YAML files. The radio no longer uses those bin files. So once you've converted and you're happy with everything and you know you're not going backwards, you can delete those if you want to. But again, the developers didn't want to take that nuclear option. They gave you a path to go backwards if you need to. Just remember, if you go back to 2.5, it's going to read these bin files. It's not going to read the YAML files. It's really important to draw that correlation. 2.5 equals binaries, 2.6 equals YAML. Very important to make that distinction. Okay, the next thing I'll show you is that we've got this models YAML file down here. That's a new thing too, where they used to keep the models file, the category listing with the models listing in the radio folder. In 2.6, it was moved into the models folder. So we can't view it, unfortunately, on the radio, but you could view it on a PC. Next thing we'll do is switch over to the, the radio directory and take a look at what's going on in there. So here's our radio directory and notice we still have models.txt but and we have radio.bin but notice now we also have radio.yaml that's because these settings that were previously held in radio.bin are now migrated to radio.yaml okay the models.txt file same as your binary files it's left there but it's no longer used by the radio and i'm going to prove it by deleting it i'm going to delete mine and i'm going to go back to my model listing and you will still see my categories in there so i've exited out I'll press the jog dial, I'll hit select model, and notice I still have my categories in there. And it's because the categories are now stored in the models.yaml file that's now held in your models subfolder on the SD card. There you go. That's how you convert from Edge TX 2.5 to 2.6. If you let the radio do the work and your SD card is in proper order before you start, you shouldn't have any problems with the conversion. I've literally done this a dozen times. I do all kinds of testing. I do all kinds of testing for Edge and I make 
countless numbers of videos, and this process has been 100% reliable as long as I let the radio do the work. Hey, I hope you like this kind of content, and if you do, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. A full 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment or a thumbs up. That all helps my videos get placement, and I really appreciate it. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.